everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Anita here. If you want to see how I created this glowing everyday makeup look, then please stick around. I will leave all the makeup products that I use in the description box so you can click on them and see exactly where I bought them from. Make sure to leave your comments down below if you have any cool funky suggestions for future makeup looks. I would love to check them out and maybe practice a funky look. As you can see I have a Varani ring light so it makes it extremely easy to create a makeup look and just basically explain and show different details of the makeup look to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I really do hope you enjoy it. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, I'm dressed nice and cozy and I'm very faced, but we're gonna get all glammed up now. So I'm going to do a basic makeup look, but make it a little bit more glamorous and glowy. Nothing too extreme where, for instance, I apply false lashes. That's not going to happen today. It's just a basic routine, but adding the shimmer. I'm just going to tell you guys before I start about this exciting new hair product or products that I am going to try out over the course of a month or two. And it's the Function of Beauty Conditioner and Shampoo. I'm so excited to use this. It has coconut water and avocado oil. And then together with that, I have some booster shots that I can add into the shampoo and conditioner. So it's um, a strengthening and thermal protection booster shots. So you just basically open it up twist it open and then pour it into the bottle and shake then you're good to go so i'm so excited to use function of beauty i've seen a lot of youtubers use it and also having great opinions about it so i'll let you guys know how my experience was and exactly how my hair feels afterwards so stay tuned for that i love function of beauty so super excited and keen and it smells absolutely amazing. I just want to say thank you so much to my sister in America for giving me these awesome Function of Beauty gifts. I really, really appreciate it. And you know how much I wanted to have Function of Beauty. So it was definitely a kind of wish list item. And now my wish has come true. Okay, so I'm going to start with the makeup. I'm going to do a voiceover so I don't bore you guys. And I kind of quickly go through it. I also get quite distracted when I speak and do makeup, so I'm just gonna do the voiceover for you guys. Okay, let's let's go. My brush is from Lottie London in the number LF05. For foundation today, I'm gonna use my trusted Lancome Paris Taint Miracle in the shade 01. This is definitely a very lightweight foundation with that healthy glow to it, but it is 100% buildable. So if you want more coverage, you can go ahead and layer this foundation. I love the shade of the 01. It has this sort of warm undertone and being more on the paler side that is exactly what I need. Now for concealer I am going to go in with the Essence Camouflage in the Healthy Glow shade and as you can see I am just going to apply a couple of dots under my eyes and then also concentrating on some of my problematic areas where I do have some blemishes. Blending the concealer with the same Lottie London brush and I also like using my fingers especially under my eyes to get that effortless blend. Thank you. 
just brushing my eyebrows to make sure my brows fall in place then to line them I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the color chocolate and using a normal angled brush just to apply the product and I'm working my way in so I'm starting from the outside and then slowly but surely creating hair type strokes as I go towards the inside of my eyebrow and then I'm obviously going to do the same for the other eyebrow To set my brows, I use the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy in the color Medium Brown and then I just brush my eyebrows to set them in place to set everything in place, I am going to use my Huda Beauty Loose Setting and Baking Powder in the color Pound Cake and I'm just going to use a normal fluffy brush to set everything and just lightly dust it off to make sure everything is set in place. For bronzer, I am using my Glowish by Huda Beauty. It's this luminous pressed powder and it is in the color 08 Tan. Just FYI, I'm not using the pressed powder as a powder, just a bronzer for those asking. And I'm going to focus it on the area that just needs more sculpting and I'm going to make sure to also use it as a contour for my nose. Normal blending brush, I am just going to take my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and take the color Cashmere Bunny. It's this natural brown and this is going to be the base of my eyeshadow and I'm making sure to blend everything so it looks nice and effortless. Taking my color Sexpresso in the palette, I am going to work it on the lower lash line and then connecting it with the top lid, obviously making sure to blend nicely. The best of the best is this Huda Beauty Medium Glow Obsessions palette. I am obsessed with it. So I'm going in with this last color and then working it into the center of my eye. If you want to use your finger that could also make a huge difference. So now we have the center highlighted. I'm going in with the color Chocolate Martini in my Too Faced palette and just making sure to work it in the outer corners and crease of my eye making sure to connect everything in the eye and blending is key to any great eyeshadow look so that's exactly what i am doing right now and then i'm going to take a thicker blending brush and make sure everything is just nice and smooth not the biggest eyeliner fan but if i do i use the essence cajal pencil eyeliner and just lining my water lines for mascara, I am loving the Elizabeth Arden Grand Interest Mascara. It is beautiful and it's got this cool one to make sure that your eyelashes are nice and lifted. And I'm going to apply it with a zigzag motion for a couple of layers. And then I'm also going to do my lower lash line for today. I don't normally do my lower lash line, but it does make my eyes pop. So I decided to go ahead and do it. Using the Medium Glow Up Sessions again, I am going to use this pinkish blush color and focus it on the apples of my cheeks, making sure to flick it upwards so it gets blended nicely into the bronzer. Using the first champagne color, I am going to highlight my cheekbones and then using a precision brush to highlight my brow bones and then also the inner corners of my eyes. And then I also like to do my nose now and then just to highlight it and focus it, especially if I'm taking photos. So I'm going to do the tip and then the bridge. So I don't like connecting it, but I like doing the tip and then the bridge if you want to you can do your cupid's bow and a little bit on your chin huda beauty's lip contour 2.0 in the color honey beige this is the best lip liner you will ever invest your money in 
I am going to overline my lips a little bit today. Nothing too extreme, but the lipstick and the lip liner matches perfectly, so it allows me to overline a little bit. And I'm also going to start filling in my lips, so I make sure that the lipstick and the lip liner blends in nice and seamlessly. For lipstick today, I am going to use a cream formula lipstick in the color Raja, also from Huda Beauty. It's this beautiful brown nudish undertone and it is the perfect formula because it's not sticky at all, but it has that gloss and it is extremely durable because it will last the entire day. And that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this funky new take on an everyday makeup look. It's something different but also with a touch of glam. We all love getting glammed up now and then. But I will definitely see you guys in future videos. So remember to stick around and become part of the family. Have a beautiful day.